Inspired by sound. Alrighty, the kids are at after school activities. Let's have a quick look at Symphobia 2 and 3. Well, for Symphobia 2, I have the following set. Browser. Bank. Full orchestra. And these are the patches that we get under full orchestra. So preset, the first preset. Zero one full orchestrator. Is this one that you get when you load it. It's very dynamic, very fun to play, and full of all sorts of goodness. So let me Plug in. come out of here. Um, I'm going to turn the mic down and just play different sections of the keyboard without doing anything else, and then talk about it. Octave minus one. So as you hear below my bottom C, we have these drums from B, that's F, then E, E flat, D, C sharp is nothing, and B, and C is nothing. So yeah, um, 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 um Octave zero. there we go. And then starting G here, we have um, orchestra with xylophone. So let me show you the, the parameters on this page. Perform articulation. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Dynamics. Dynamics. Expression. Expression. Nothing. Mic mix, morph. Mic mix. Let's talk about the mic mix. So by default, it's all the way to the right. Then we turn it left. And then we get into the close mic. So on this patch, there is... Close. Stage. Close and stage mics. So if I do the same again, I can play, and you can hear the difference between uh, the stage mic and the close mic. Perform expression. Mic mix morph. Uh, let's talk about the articulation. So it's interesting the way this works because the key switches are actually above the octave and the articulation knob you, uh, is actually changing the key switch. But the way it works is that the articulation knob, by default, is all the way to the right. But yet the first key switch in the list is the one closest to the end of the keyboard here. Well, closest to you, that is the player, right? So you turn it left to go up the key switches. So uh, I will do that. Perform articulation. And if you listen, that's a slightly different articulation now. So it's um, pizzicato instead of macato, I think. articulation. I was turning it between the two articulations and you can hear what difference there is. And in this one, the uh, xylophone starts in D now instead of G. All right, so let's go to the next, uh, next preset. Pre pre zero two strings with woodwinds. Strings with woodwinds. That one kind of speaks for itself. I like it. Octave minus one. And we go down quite low with this. To low C, as I would imagine. Octave Nothing minus two. Anything? No. Okay, as expected. Octave minus one. Alrighty. Ah. Next in our list is... Preset, 03 long textures and effects. Textures and effects, we don't really need to cover that. You can hear the preview. 04 short hits and rips. 05 symphobium stacks. 
06 dreamy textures. That is basically what it says it is. Are you going to load? Or have you Octave loaded? zero. I think this one, yeah, mod will controlled. So they do things like that. So it's kind of a um, uh, ambient type thing. 307 Tutti Chords. The Tutti Chords is quite fun, as I remember. Articulation. So is there an articulation knob used for this? There is. Oh, I missed one. Articulation. Here we go. You have to turn it slowly. So, um, yeah, chords, and you play it softly, you get that. Oh, did I just change key switches? I did that. I did that. Okay, so that's a key switch. Lowest, uh, as you hear, I'm in octave, octave zero. zero. So the low C is that. C sharp, that. Crescendo, I suppose. Nice long one. Fantastic. I haven't even heard that before, by the way. I have not heard that before. It's also mod wheel control, so it's kind of a bit of both in this case. E flat. Ah, oh, fade. E. F. And that's the last one. So yeah, those are the key switches. It's interesting because it's not only velocity controlled, it's mod wheel as well. So there's a lot of dynamics going on. Yeah, that's uh, really interesting, actually. I have not played that patch really a lot, apparently. So now I have. Full orchestrator, pizzicato. This is the same as all, um, the, the first preset I showed you, but just the individual versions of it. So you've got that one. Full orchestrator, staccato. And then staccato. Full orchestrator, sustain arco octaves. Sustain arco octaves. I forgot to show you some of the articulations in the first preset. So let preset, me do that. Full orchestrator, sustain arco octaves. Again, mod wheel controlled. You roll mod wheel down, it sort of gets quieter. Roll it up. Nice. Where do you start? Let's go down an octave. minus one. There's the drums again. So after C, the notes repeat again, and then they don't, and then they go up and up. And up. Octave zero. And stop. So that's what that does. And then full orchestrator, sustain arco wide octave. Preset, full orchestrator, octaves. sustain arco wide octaves. Octave minus one. Oh, I didn't mean to octave that. zero. Timp roll as well, if you hear that. A lot of these are actually the same sound across all the octaves here. So low D. That middle one was quite bright. So that's nice. Preset long textures and effects, dark textures. There's quite a lot of these nice long textures now. Long textures and effects, high textures. Long textures and effects, rhythmic textures. Long textures and effects, tonal textures. Long textures and effects, tutti clusters. Short hits and rips, orchestral hits and stubs. Short hits and rips, orchestral rips swirls. Strings with woodwinds, high sordino. That's quite nice. Um, obviously, it's very quiet. You've, you've, you've got mod wheel controlled for that one. That's as loud as that gets. I mean, literally. Or is it velocity as well? 
Oh yeah, you can hit it a bit harder, even though the mod wheel is at maximum. It, um, yeah, it's velocity and mod wheel, so you kind of have to beat into that one. It does allow you to do that though, so it's quite nice. Preset springs with woodwinds, high staccato with xylophone. So that one is just of the top end of the first preset, if you remember. Just that part of it, not the bottom part down here. Preset springs with woodwinds, marcato. Marcato. Which is nice. I do like that sound. Yes. Strings with woodwinds, marcato. So that's the last one of that library that I wanted to show you. I don't want to show you the whole thing. Just a particular bank of full orchestra, because people were asking what out of box sounds would you get uh, like that. Now, of course, there is individual sections and things like that as well. But let's talk about Symphobia Three now, Plug because in. I have already set that up as well. And I've got the first story loaded. So in this case, I chose Browser, vendor or vendors product Lumina bank stories and the first story preset story cartoon Mr. Evil. Mr. Evil. This is also mod wheel controlled, but it's also it's an interesting one because this one you have to not only use the mod wheel. It's a bit like the old mega voices because you have to you can play hard and soft and different things happen and mod wheel affects different things on top of all that. So you have a lot of choice here. So let me show you how far down Octave minus you one. Can go. Okay, so to B minus one. Octave zero. All right. And stop here. But listen to this, all right? So this one requires kind of some skill. I don't know if I quite have it right yet, but you can do things like... Um, So that, this low sound here, which is controlled with your mod wheel, hitting it hard, you get that sound. But then, where, so from C, you get that instead of the that. So you can do, and then you can hit those softly, they trill. And if I'm not mistaken, Octave down minus here, one. key switches turn off and on things. Yeah, they do. Right. What does what now? Uh, this is always an effort in interest because I don't know what does what. I think there's only a couple of key switches. C and C, C and C sharp so far. Yeah, I think that's what we've got. So the next story then we'll move on Preset, to. Preset, story, cartoon, stay in sync. Preset, story, cartoon, stay in octave zero. This one is not mod wheel controlled. quite nice it's all layers again you've got to hit it soft for that harder for that and up here that so yeah it's quite beefy browser Next one are you loading are you preset story cartoon tiptoe tiptoe
This one is quite self-explanatory. Um, it doesn't do much more than what you've just heard. The mod wheel does give it more dynamics, but velocity has just changed a few of the way the sounds are. So low velocity on the bottom end, and harder, longer notes, and up here, you get that. Again, really hard, to, not really hard to play, actually very fun to play. You can just sit and do these sort of things for a long time and it's, it's really enjoyable. Uh, so that was Cartoon Tiptoe. Preset, story, cartoon, trolling. Trolling, this is a fun one. Yeah, on the right hand side of the keyboard you have a bass and a glocking spiel. And at the end, you've got all these bass, upper, upright bass slides. When you hit it hard, on the bottom end you get these kind of um, discordant rips and things, which I quite like. <laughs> it's a funny one, that one. Next is a preset story fantasy fairy dust. Fantasy fairy duster. Oh, at the top end, I didn't even notice that there's some strings. So from, from here to here is that sound, then strings, and below that is this low bass. Octave minus one. Yeah. Octave zero. So basically. Octave plus one. Uh, do you, yeah, you do go further. Oh, it's mod wheel controlled as well, the strings are, of course. So, yeah, so you get another, like, octave and sum of strings. Down and Octave then zero. Do that. It's a good sound, that. I quite enjoy it. Next in the list is. Preset, story, fantasy, majestic. Majestic. As you guess, I was controlling that with the mod wheel. Just huge. So, going up. So after a bass kind of stops here. And you've got drums and stuff at the end. I didn't even know that. See, all these discoveries. Just huge. Don't worry about the clicks. My sample um, buffer size is very low, but it's not actually um, the machine lagging. It's um, if I recorded it, it would not do it. My old machine just wouldn't be able to handle it at all. So it is all right. It is all right. Preset, story, fantasy, new soul. New Soul. Now, this is an incredibly cool one. I love this one because you get these cool reverses. Let's play like some kind of bizarre out there chord, if I can think of one. Something like... I love all that. 
So bottom end of the keyboard is this great big crescendo thing up to B. And then after this, you get this kind of sound. And then if you hold this sound down on the right hand side, let's just hold like an A major down. That happens. So if we do like F sharp in the bass, then you can mod wheel it up for more dynamics. Then you get things like that, which is just amazing. And Hulk just doesn't affect anything so playing harder or softer on this doesn't change the sound overly if I play soft on the right hand side I think the bell tree doesn't kick in when you play hard it does yeah then you get the bell tree as well as that oh just great just great okay next sound talk to me Preset, story, fantasy, round table, octave zero. Now this is very nice. You've got these chords, right? And then you've got two other sounds. You've got an oboe. Hard for major and soft for minor. So from at the end of that you get this clarinet so you can you know you can almost play three sounds at once if you're careful. It's quite hard to do it but it is possible just some kind of mad ass stretching to being able to play those three things all at once that's not easy but it is a lovely patch to just play and get lost in as you can preset probably tell. story fantasy round table so the next one preset story fantasy shimmering shimmering oh what's after that oh you've got textury type things So you hit the flute hard, you get choir as well as flute. Lower end, you get that up to here. And then you get nothing on one note. And then C, C sharp, D, E flat. Uh, e flat is where it starts. Then E and up to quite high and then the flute kicks in and knocks it up. The flute starts on low A, interesting.
very nice one, that one. A lot going on. Preset, story, fantasy, the choir. The choir. So this one is a playable left hand. You can play chords up to up to there. Then you've got this choir patch with the soprano singer and something under it that I'm not exactly sure what it is. Is it like a damped glockenspiel or something? I'm not. I don't really know. So yeah, very nice. And Octave minus one. Playable. Ah, so you can come down as far as here. Okay. Hit that harder, you get the bell. I didn't even realize. So you hit the uh, top end hard, you get the uh, R instead of the U. So this is all kinds of hard to play, but uh, really nice. takes a lot of work but it is really nice um discovering as i go along even though i've had this library a long time you just never quite get preset through story fantasy the vision the vision octave zero so mod wheel all sorts of stuff here that's lowest mod wheel position and left hand i'm holding a low d down mod wheel up back down. So these chords, where do you stop? Okay, so you've got octave, octave, almost another octave up to B, and then you have this sound. And cymbals at the top again. So the module just brings it to life. So uh, let's see, what can we do with this? Hitting that hard doesn't do anything. But moving the mod wheel up really changes the chord type, doesn't it? So that's just me holding a G down. Moving the mod wheel up, that's not me doing it. It's fading in and out, I guess, all automatically. Mod wheel up. It's doing that. So just weird, wonderful chords. So what does an E do? Oh, it's a minor. That is huge. Yeah. All very nice. Preset, story, fantasy, Timland. Timland. All right, what do you do? Multiple sets of chords with a gap in the middle. Ah, oh, that's what you do.
So that's the legato tin whistle, I guess. Which starts here. And goes up to there. And you're hitting it hard, it uh, gives you a, a phrase and vibrato and things. Oh, I can't do that. I've got to go up. Man, no C. Okay. Well, you live and learn, don't you? Mm. Preset, story, fantasy, which is cottage. Which is cottage. That's the low end of this one. Angry phrasing. And then choir controls with mod wheel. And then more phrasing above it. And then single solo. After that, Ooh. this one really probably doesn't need an eighty-eight Nate, eighty-eight Nate, eighty-eight Nate keyboard to J all of the, yeah. split that one into a lot of sections Preset, there. story, mystery, crescent moon. sound so that's that one loading preset story mystery freaky fair not freaky foof but freaky fair it's a recorder when you hit it hard and it's a um glockin when you hit it soft i mean or uh is that right celeste yeah, that. Yeah, that makes sense. So you hit this one hard, you get that. When you hit it soft, you get the double bass. Reset, story, mystery, hold your breath. Hold your breath. That's a big one. It's quite uh, minimal, but nice nonetheless, because this, this low sound is just full of sub bass and then choir stuff. It's nice. Again, all these, a lot of these sounds you really can just get lost Preset, in a long Preset, story, time. mystery, into darkness. Into darkness. 
There are a lot of stories actually in here, more than I remember there being. Yeah, I went there. That's amazing. Just to think these aren't multis either. The real playables is really, really... Preset, story, mystery, smoking gun. That's a one note. Mod will bottom, and you get all these piano from here to here, piano and bass, and then textures that do things with the mod wheel. <laughs> very unusual, that one is very unusual. Preset, story, mystery, trail through the woods. That's cool too. I've used that in something before, but I can't remember what. Preset, story, mystery, trail through the woods. Is that the last one? Pre story, yeah. mystery, trail through the woods. So we have come to the end of our look at stories and also Symphobia 2. I hope you enjoyed this look. And if you go buy things, don't blame me. Blame the, um, the amazement that is Project Sam. And enjoy yourselves. Thanks for listening. Bye.